Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Lathe C and Y axis toolpath. This is our last one Mastercam Lathe C and Y axis toolpath video and in this video we discuss about one of the most important operation of the Lathe C and Y axis toolpath. So first let me show you that what is the operation is done when we are using it. So let me play the 3 in a 3D simulation. When we are using that one operation it will be cut slot not in a 2d it will be cut a slot in a 3d so let's just watch this one video so here as you can see we are selecting a one toolpath area or a toolpath chain and as per chain it is cutting like as you can see so it is known as a sometime like as a 3d toolpath for cutting a 3d slots so in this video we will discuss about that how we can cut that one how we can select the chain and the all cutting parameter and what is the trick which we are using so we will discuss about one of the most important operation of the master cam lathe c and y axis so first let me show that what we are done so this is the part fourth and here we are creating that one operation for this chain as you can see here for this one chain we are done and the operation name is C axis contour. So let me show you that how we can prepare that one operation. So first I delete that one operation which I already done here. So here for creating that one operation we just have to click on C axis contour. After selecting the C axis contour we just have to select the chain where we have to done that one operation so we are selecting that one chain that one drawing is also available in the description you can download for your reference purpose now you press ok in a lathe c axis tool path for c axis contour we have to here select the tool tool we are selecting as per what is the width of our slot size for example if our slot size width is 6 mm so we are selecting a 6 mm flat end mill and now we have to input what is the feed rate and here we have to input what is the spindle speed and we have here we have to input what is the plunge rate for that one tool for example we are inputting here plunge rate and here in comment we have to input what is the and which type of operation we are using so we can input here c axis contour here in the when we are done operation for the c axis contour must sure we are coming in the cutting parameter in cutting parameter here we have to select compensation type and in a compensation type we have to sorry contour type in a contour type we have to select the 3d type contour because the chain which we are selecting it is not a 2d type it is like a 3d now the next one thing we have to come in the cutting parameter what is the cutting parameter what is the depth of cut for example depth of cut is 0.15 finish cut is 1 and what is the finish step means key what is the depth of cut for a finish pass now lead in and lead out not required for that one now we are coming in the cutting parameter when we are done operation like c axis toolpath in this toolpath we are selecting chain from the outer side so here in a depth it is depth is defined as what is the depth of your slot for example my external diameter is 60 mm and my slot depth is for example 54 mm so what we have to input here 1.5 so it means that time slots area cutting 1.5 from each side so here we are inputting depth of cut make sure your depth of cut always in the minus value so we are inputting what is total depth when we are done a operation on a c axis contour so we have to also controlling over c axis so here we are coming in the axis combination in a axis combination when we are done operation on a c axis must sure for the c axis cross contour so c axis contour we have to select here right side and lower it is the axis combination select right side lower 
and the next and last one parameter which we have to select that one is rotating axis control rotating axis control here we have to input what is the diameter size of our contour which we are selecting so here we have to click right click diameter of an arc node and we select a diameter and now we press ok so as you can see our operation is done so as you can see our operation is done but when we are when we are want to looking that one operation we make a one major mistake what we have to make major mistake that one in a cutting parameter when we are doing a c axis contour for a selecting that kind of chain so in a compensation type must sure you have to off compensation and now press ok and regenerate so guys as you can see our tool path is done and we can simulation is in 3d as well as 2d so let me show you in a 3d simulation